hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically we can insert our uh, google sheet data excel data inside our mysql database using node shares and a excel module so xls module and we will be using the driver called as mysql library in order to connect to the mysql database inside our node js application so we will be creating this data inside of a google sheet guys there is an external program brought to you by google which is google sheet here you will be uh, creating records here you can create a blank sheet here let's suppose you create a some data here which is gotham here and uh, email let me set here gotham gmail.com basically you can see inside of this table guys you can see this is a user table and it contains three columns out there id is the primary key which will auto increment we will insert these two details which is the name of the person and the email of the person so obviously you can see uh, these two these already four records are already present john gotham jim harper and only unique records will be inserted if you try to upload a duplicate record then it will give you error now let's suppose i need to insert some more records i will be giving here unique records so i will say here smith I will re Smith and uh, then I will say that here Smith at the rate gmail.com some more records let me just put here some random values after that whenever you are done with that you can basically download this file as a excel file so simply click on this download button click on this download it as excel file now basically guys uh, you just need to move the move this file in the same directory let me just cut this file so wherever you have developed this application so this is my application so i will paste it i will delete this file here which is previously there let me rename this to users so this is users here so this is the node.js script guys basically first of all it takes the connection it basically makes the connection to the mysql database using hostname user password and now we are providing this input file which is user.excel file where we are looping through all that and we are just inserting them into the table users let me just execute the script guys node index.js so what will happen guys you will see that user id 9 10 11 12 all the records are inserted let me now check and refresh you will now see guys some more records have been added which is the smith this one this one this one you can see that automatically the user id has been incremented because it's a primary key of the table and the records have been successfully inserted which are present inside the uh, this excel file so we will be looking at how to do this process guys step by step in this tutorial so all the source code is given in the description of this video i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website webninjadeveloper.com so you can follow the step by step instruction while watching this video all the source code is given in the description so now let's get started so before building this project guys let me show you what is needed here uh, you need you need to require two dependencies guys inside package.json you will see you need to require first of all the driver dependency for node shares for mysql databases so this is present inside this this is a module which is required here mysql so you just need to install this module this is a command which is npm i mysql and the second dependency which you need to have xlx this is basically the excel file it's basically the library where you can read the content of an excel file using node.js so it's a very popular module which is 1 million downloads are there so simply go to your command line and then simply install my npm my mysql and xls so i have already installed these two modules so now i will write my node.js application inside node index.js so first of all guys you need to require both these dependencies which is mysql you need to require this let me zoom in so that you can see here properly so you need to first of all require mysql and also you need to require the xlx module as well after this guys you need to create the uh, database connection so for database connection there is a method out there which is create connection 
it basically takes an object which contains four properties first is the local host which is the actual host name then we uh, have the username which is root default username and then we have the password property which is empty default password and the database so whichever database you are connecting to guys so i am using exam control panel which comes with php apache my server and if you go to its uh, database here admin section you will now see let me create a new database here let's suppose excel db click on create so inside this database guys we will create a table called as users i will click on go and inside this table guys you will have the id we have the name column and we will have our age and we will also have a country as well so three columns will be there plus the primary key id here so now we can put id to be integer 11 this needs to be varchar 256 this age will also be integer and this country will be varchar 256 so now basically you can save your table guys and uh, one more thing we also need to make this as a primary key so we can auto increment click on save so now this is a primary key of the table auto increment so this is our table guys we have created which is a users table and it contains four columns so we can put here the table sorry database which is excel db that's it now guys we just need to open our uh, excel file so for that we will workbook and we will basically use this module which we have imported which is uh, excel x you can see this is a module and basically it contains a method guys which is read file if you want to read a local file which is present right here you, will, you can read this users you need to provide the path here users dot excel x after that you just need to make another variable which is uh, worksheet this will be equal to the workbook sheets this contains this method and inside this method guys you need to provide inside square brackets workbook dot sheet names and here we will take the very first sheet as you see guys inside excel file there can be multiple sheets but we will be taking the data of the first sheet that's why we are providing like this and then we will be having another variable of range and this will be containing this uh, utils and this contains a decode range method and we need to use this basically it will convert the a1 range to zero index form and we will say a worksheet and here you need to provide here in double quotes not signed reference like this uh, after this guys we will be looping through all the data which is present right here we will simply use a for loop and let row we will say range s r will take the rows first of all and row will be smaller than equal to range e r and uh, row plus plus so basically we will be looping through each row and now we need to get read the data so we will be declaring a data variable which will be an empty array for now this is slightly complicated code but guys but you need to write like this let column and now we will be starting the columns so range dot s dot c this time and this column will be smaller than or equal to the range e dot c and then it will be column plus plus so this is the inner loop which is running guys and inside this you will get the actual cell value so worksheet and inside square brackets excel x utils dot encode cell so inside this we will be encoding the value guys so we just need to provide the value from where we need to encode the value so it takes the object it takes the row to be equal to the row which is there and column will be equal to the actual column that's it so now this will store this value inside the cell variable and now we need to push this data inside the data dot push cell dot value cell dot value like this and now we got all the data guys so basically what we can do is that if i basically after this uh, for loop 
uh, yeah. If I just console log the data here, just to check if the data is present or not. Basically, what you will see if I run the script here, so whatever data is present, it's, it is saying that row is not defined. Oh, sorry, this needs to be row. So again, if you run this, so now you can see it is reading all the data which is present inside this Excel file, guys. You will see that there are four records out there and two columns, Smith, DSE, all. You can see it is reading all this data. Now we need to insert this data inside the database. But before that, guys, as you see inside our database, there are three columns, which is name, age, country. ID will be auto incremented. So first of all, we need to create three records. So we also need to put here, I think this is a name age country so yeah so inside our google sheet we need to write here uh, we need to first of all create a new sheet so i can simply go to google go to google sheet and create a brand new sheet so you need to match the layout of the table so here you need to exactly contain the data uh, so here we will put the name here put the age and here put the country so here you will put all the names here let me put one more row so four records are there guys now you can download this file as a excel file like this so after this you can now cut this file and paste it inside your working directory so cut this and so simply let me delete this and just rename this to users like this that's it so now this is a file guys and now if I run this application you will exactly see the data which is you can see we have entered right here which contains uh, three columns and four rows you can see that it is reading all this data now we just need to convert this data inside our MySQL database we need to insert this into the table so right here inside this loop itself guys basically in the loop in, in this uh, inner loop in this outer loop we will basically run a SQL statement which will simply say insert into the table name table name is uh, users and here you will provide the column name here column name is uh, if you closely look at the column names guys basically you will see if you check the database we have Excel DB yeah so we have three columns which is name age country so yeah ID will be automatically in. so this will be name this will be age and this will be country and now basically we have the values so just put, put this inside one line so this will be values so values you need to provide guys so we can simply put question mark here so placeholder variables so question mark question mark question mark that's it so this is your sql and now we just need to execute this so db connection variable this contains a method query and basically here you need to pass your sql statement and now we need to pass our data also so data will be coming here and if any sort of error take place results and the fields so now basically we will simply show if any sort of error take place we can show an error message that uh, console error error dot message so after this guys basically we can console log the newly inserted id so which will be auto incremented so user id and then we can concatenate results dot insert id that's it 
and lastly guys if all the operations are done lastly you need to close the connection so db end so this contains a method to close the connection to the database that's it this is your whole script guys which will automatically insert the data if I now execute this you will see no data is present right here if I browse no records are present as I now execute this you will now see automatically four records is inserted we have got the IDs if I now refresh it you will now see Gotham, John, Jim, Harpen, 23, 25, 56, 45, India, USA, Iceland, England. So all these records are inserted automatically. So this is the way by which you can insert Excel file data inside your MySQL database using Node.js, using XLX module and MySQL module. All the source code is given in the description of this video guys. So you can copy paste all the source code. And please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next one.